Hi there, in this PowerPoint tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this eye-catching effect where the title visually divides the slide in two parts and gradually transforms one image into the other. You can use this effect to create an opening slide or a section slide in your presentation. But before we jump into the tutorial, please support my small channel by giving this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also ring the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And without wasting any more time, let's head over to PowerPoint. We're gonna start with the blank slide and first we'll need to bring in an image. For that, I'm gonna navigate up top to the home ribbon and click on the picture button. Then in the menu, I'm gonna click on picture from file. This will open up the file explorer and in here I'm gonna select one of the images I've prepared for the slide and then let's click insert. Next, we'll need to make sure the image covers the entire slide. So I'm gonna grab it and first move it all the way to the left edge of the slide and now we'll need to increase it. Put your cursor over the bottom right corner and holding down the shift key on your keyboard, pull it down and to the side like this. And now we just need to cut off the excess part of the image. I'm gonna select the crop tool in the picture format ribbon up top, then go all the way to the bottom of the image, grab this little crop marker and pull this side up until it snaps to the bottom edge of the slide area. And now while still in the crop mode, I'm gonna adjust the positioning of the image inside the crop area. And then just click anywhere outside the slide. Perfect, let's move on. Now we need to create the text that's gonna run across the slide. I'm gonna select the text box tool from the home ribbon. Now just click anywhere outside the slide and type anything you want. Let me pull it up a bit so I can see it better. Now I'll select my text and set its font to Adventure. If you don't have this font installed, you can use any font that looks like handwriting. Now let me make it italic and let's change its size to 280. Also, we'll need to change this color to white and we can do that by clicking this color button in the home ribbon and selecting white. Now we just need to position the text in the middle of the slide like this. Make sure it runs all the way across the slide without any gaps and depending on the length of your text or the font you use, you might need to increase or decrease the size of your text. Alright, now we need to make a copy of the text for later use. I'm gonna hold down the option and shift keys on my keyboard. If you're on Windows, that would be Alt and shift keys. And now pull down the text and move this copy outside the slide area. Then we need to select the image and holding down the shift key, I'm gonna select the text on the slide. It's important that we first select the image and only then the text, otherwise you might get a different result. Once you've selected both items, navigate to the top menu, switch to the shape format tab, and then in the ribbon, over on the left side, open up the merge menu and select fragment. That's gonna divide the image where it intersects with the text. And now we just need to remove the bottom part. Also, I want to remove this little piece right here. And now we need to bring up the copy of the text we have down here. And place it where the original text is located. You might need to use your arrow keys to move the text. Don't worry if it doesn't sit perfectly on top of the cutout parts. If you see this outline peeking through, just make sure it is to the left of your text. We're gonna cover this up with some drop shadow in a second. And now with the text still selected, over up top in the menu, I'm gonna switch to the shape format. And in the ribbon, click this format pane button to open the additional settings. Now in the pane, we'll need to switch to the text options tab. And then we're gonna wanna select text effects tab. And in here, let's open up the shadow section. I'm gonna click this presses button and in the menu we want to choose the first option and now we just need to adjust the settings. I'll set transparency to 
blur to 9 points and distance to 12 points. I'm gonna close this pane for now and the next step would be to bring in the second image so let me switch to the home ribbon and once again I'm gonna click on the picture button and select picture from file then in the file explorer select your second image and click insert move it to the left side of the slide and if needed increase its size so that it covers the entire slide then we would need to select the crop tool and cut off the part outside the slide area Also, I want to adjust the visible part of the image within the crop mask. And now let's make sure this image is the bottommost layer on the slide. And for that, while it's still selected, I'm gonna click this down arrow next to the send backwards button in the upper ribbon. And in the drop down, I'm gonna click on send to back. And now let's just click off the slide and see what we have so far. It looks beautiful, we're almost done here. If you want to add some dynamics to the slide, you can use more transition. Let's create a copy of this slide. In the slides pane over on the right, click on the current slide and then press Command D if you're on Mac or Control D if you're on Windows. That's gonna make a copy of the first slide. And once you're on your second slide, switch to the transition tab. And in here, just click on this morph item. You can play with the duration setting if you want, but I'll leave mine as it is at 2 seconds. Now let's switch back to the first slide. Select the text. Then let's open the format pane once again. For that, in the shape format ribbon, click on the format pane. And now in the pane, I'm gonna go to the text options, text effects. And in the presses drop down, I want to turn off the shadow by clicking the no shadow option. Perfect. Now, I also want my slide to go to the next one and play the animation automatically. So in the transitions ribbon, I'm gonna navigate over to the right side where it says after. We'll need to click this checkbox and then set time property to half second. And now let's play the presentation. Now we have this beautiful appearance shadow effect on the slide. If you want to learn more cool stuff you can do in PowerPoint, please check my other tutorials. Also, don't forget to give a like to this video. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy presenting! Bye!